Is it February? Already? Huh. Jeez, it doesn't really feel like I have been spinning for over 60 days already. Nor does it. So a warm welcome friends to part 3 of our 100 days spindle spinning challenge. Whee! There is a rodent in the studio. I can hear it. We shall not be deterred by a mouse. <laughs> anyway, February. Over the months of December and January, we have spun 22 mini skeins and we will add to this collection until we get a sweater quantity of spindle spun yarn. That is the objective. That is my goal for this 100 day spindle spinning challenge. And it's looking quite good so far. Another thing that happened like literally overnight, like literally this night, we are now a community of 3000 people strong. Yeah. This is how much speech you have given me left. None of it. Speechless. Oh, 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 what's this? Is our cop coming loose? February, you trickster. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared that the mouse is like eating into my fiber stash. I'm going to check it out. See you in a minute. I don't think it's my fiber stash that the mouse is interested in, but it's my stash of um, chestnuts that I was drying on this lid. Yep, yep, they're being eaten up. There is like small bits and pieces everywhere. Mouse, I want to make soap with this. That's why I'm drying them, silly mouse. Oh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video about making soap with chestnuts. It will be somewhere over there. I am doing the very good YouTuber thing. Anyway, I um, need to safeguard my chestnuts, I think. So, you guys are interested in hearing more about Belgium and Belgian culture. I don't know if this is specifically Belgian, but today is candle mass and traditionally we make pancakes on candle mass. There are quite a bit of folkloric tales of why this is. Uh, one saying that the shape of a pancake reminds us of the light of Christ or maybe just of the light of the sun and it's a pagan ritual celebrating that the sun is coming back. Could be either, could be both, I don't know. Anyway, there is a saying Geen vrouwke zo arm of ze maak met licht misser panneke warm which literally translates to There is not a woman too poor to heat up her pancake pan on candle mess. Let's make pancakes! You would probably call these crepes, however, um, but they're, they're pancakes. Where is my end? February 6th already. Time is flying by and I seem to have spun not at all that much. But I also slightly have a feeling that I've lost my spinning mojo, you could say, like for the last couple of days. I've just not been feeling like it. And not only spindle spinning, like I'm also spinning on my wheel over there. Um, but that's like a... Um, commercially prepped combed merino top. I'm not just just not feeling it. Same actually same with the spindle spinning. I'm just not feeling it right now. 
I mean, that happens. And well, I have pledged to myself that I will be candid and authentic with you guys. So I'm just telling you right now that mm, I'm, I'm really not feeling like spinning lately. So, well, I'm, I'm doing it, but it could bring me more joy than it is right now. How do you combat a loss of spinning mojo? Let me know. Morning everyone, as today is yet again another rainy day. It literally has been raining from October until now, except for the three days that we had snow. My garden is an actual swamp. I am not going to work by bike because I would be soaked. Uh, so I have a little bit extra time this morning. In the comments under yesterday's video, someone asked what I would do if I won the lottery. I would give up my day job and work full time on this. And probably also, it's a dream of my husband and I, we would relocate to France, somewhere in the mountains where there is a lot of castles, probably Alsace, Ardèche or Corbière. But mostly just the, the ability to be able to spend full time on all the fiber lovely goodness that that would be the the main thing if i ever won the lottery but i don't play the lottery so i will never win it the only thing i can hope for is to win the youtube algorithm lottery <laughs> but since right now i've won neither let's prep and get to work Ugh. Sometimes I really wonder whether I am stupid or my brain just makes me want to believe that. Because today is Friday, I have just returned from work and I have realized that I have forgotten my SD card at work. So I cannot film with my camera this weekend unless I go back to the office and get my card. I don't want to go to the office in the weekends. It's Friday, which also means that I will be going to uh, Art Academy later. Mm, I don't trust the sturdiness of my spinning bowl to take my um, support spindle spinning kit with me to my mom's house. I'm going to take my clasped in hand spindle for that. Let's do that. Um, I'll also show you right now. Just for a second because we're talking anyway so why not uh, what i'm making over at art school i am uh, making a series of paintings like this and it is dries doing a striptease uh, the theme was inside out and i made pictures of him taking his sweater off inside out but yeah dries doing a striptease because why not saucy art is best art um, next time you will see me, I'll be at my mom's spinning, I hope. Ah. Card has been retrieved. I am aware that it is Tuesday and that makes my frantic going to fetch my SD card on Saturday a little bit funny and maybe ironic but here's the thing it's not because you didn't see me work on this video that I didn't work on another video last week's video was an entire Sundays of doing and also um, <clears throat> I'm going to be just honest with you about this I find it awkward to talk to you guys and film my spindle spinning vlog whenever my husband is here maybe awkward is not the right word but I just want to cuddle with him up in the sofa and not... I mean, I love you guys, but sometimes you are the third wheel. <laughs> so sorry. Um, we will continue the spinning now. Uh, get over here. Got this last bit of fluff and then this uh, bird's nest is finished too.
As today is not only Valentine's Day, but also Ash Wednesday, start of Lent, important question. Why did my arm break? That of course has nothing to do with the start of Lent, but this question has. Christians in my audience, what does your priest usually do for Ash Wednesday? Do they like actually make a cross with the ashes? Or do they go the uh, Eastern route like they do uh, in my parish and sprinkle the ashes over your head? Personally, I wish that they would do the cross on the face. Because I have a very, <laughs> very sensitive uh, skin on my head, um, like seborrheic eczema even. It keeps on breaking. I can't tell my story if my yarn keeps breaking. Anyway, so I have a very sensitive skin on my head, seborrheic eczema and all that shazam. So Ash Wednesday is like surefire way, one way ticket to scratch city. So the moment I get home, I get into the shower, wash my hair, get all those ashes off of me. I mean, I know I have to commemorate that I am dust and will return to that dust. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, you know, all that shazam, but it's giving me the itch. And then today it actually was a different priest than we normally have. So I was like, oh, maybe he will do it, uh, the cross on my face and not sprinkle all the thing in my hair. No, still sprinkled, still sprinkled. Okay, now, now we've gotten to a part where my single doesn't want to snap. I just think like the final bit, I might have been a little bit disengaged with the spinning, not really looking at what I'm doing and I did underspin, not give enough twists to the single, probably something like that. I don't know. What do I look like? An expert? The third mini skein of February! Oh, um, I am seeing a pattern for the month of February. These are actually pretty semi-solid skates. They're not as, you know, randomly mixed together as the skates I made in December and January. Maybe that, that's good for some contrast in the eventual project I will make with them. Anyway, 14th of February, three skates. Yeah, I'm taking it slowly both in January and February, but that's okay. That's okay. It is the third Thursday of the month. We are in the city. You know what's going to happen, right? Let's get crafty. I have a package. And this package is a spindle. And not just any spindle. This is a spindle made by one of my patrons, Alex. He made a couple and then suggested in our Discord group, well, you know, I can send some to people that want. And now some of his spindles have reached far ends of the world, like Belgium and Germany. I thought, let's do the good YouTuber thing and open this together. Uh, but I d don't have patience, so I already peeked inside. Which makes me even more excited to share this with you. So. This is a spindle itself. Need a little spindle stick and a small bobbin. Hey. Stay. <laughs> A 
They have two extra robins, so you can switch them out like on a wheel. Ingenious! I might have also mentioned to Alex that my favorite colors were orange, green and yellow. So now we have orange, green and yellow bobbins, thank you. <laughs> and a little bit of orange look to fit. Nice. I hope I'm not the only one that just goes straight to the face with every bit of fluff that they touch. And then there's an envelope as well. And some butterflies. And I'm dropping everything. He ends with I hope to see this spindle in your videos once. Well, here we are. Here we are. I'm going to fetch my bowl and, and immediately test this. It has a nice speed, very comparable to the sports spindle that I am used to using. That little bit of fluff fit perfectly on the little bobbin. <laughs> so of course the downside, you can only fill the spindle with as much fluff as the bobbin will allow, but doesn't this just look cute? Anyway, I have switched to a different spindle. I'm going to fetch some of my own fluff, probably yellow, because uh, why not? And then I will apply them together. And then this fluff will also get used in the final ultimate project with um, spindle spun yarn. And now while we do that, just a little shout out to my Discord community. You guys are awesome. I feel it personally as an enrichment to my life to hear all their stories. I, of course, warmly invite you to join the Patreon, to experience it for yourself, because, of course, I am a content creator. I am going to plug myself everywhere I can. But it's just lovely. Just like the spindle, I feel it's even lovelier with my own fiber. A question for European spindle spinners and maybe more specifically EU spindle spinners. Where can I find like support spindles on the internet or in shops? Because I have found great many a joy in the support spindle spinning over this 100 days of spindle spinning challenge. And I love this one. I love the one I have from Something Else by Else Marie. But they're both Tibetan styles. And I would like to diversify my spindle collection a little bit, but maybe also a Russian style spindle or a Fang, a goddess spindle. You know, all that lovely stuff. I really don't know where to find them, where to source the support spindles. Like drop spindles, no issue. They'll throw you dead with drop spindles, but support spindles are not as ubiquitous. So, European spindle spinners that know where to find good spindles, the comment section is where you are expected. Please don't mind the general messiness of this background. It's my house. I live here. I am a chaos goblin. I will make things messy. Anyway, you can live somewhere else for a little moment. Also, I realized... Where are you? That I'm a little bit of a dum-dum. Of course you don't... Of course, you're not restricted to the size of the little bobbins for your threads. You can just make a cup above them and just treat the bobbins like 
regular worlds? Just a little dumb dumb sometimes. And then there were five. And also... Synthetic dyes are vibrant, yo! <laughs> this is wild! I'm not sure if I'm going to include it because this is... So vibrant? It might throw me off. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, five skeins for February. So I've literally just come home from work with another serious case of helmet head. I just wanted to say the following. So yesterday I asked on my community page whether I should change the channel name to something more anglicized, like my wooden or something. And you guys came for me! Like you were opinionated! Um, but what I gather from this is... Jelle vindt dat Vlaamse plezante. Okay, I got it. We'll keep the Flemish, we'll keep the Flemish. And now I'm actually going to greet my husband, get dressed in some more appropriate attire, and I will see you later. <laughs> We're the 21st of February and we're seven skeins strong! Suck it, January! <laughs> I am in particular really proud of this blue uh, coat in this one. You can't see it because lighting in my living room I want to turn everything yellow. But it's blue! It's blue! So we are back in the studio. You probably know what that means, right? Yep, yep. It is the 29th of February. So another month of spindle spinning has passed. An extra long month as it is a leap year. Thank you solar panels for your contribution. So the 29th of February, I am just going to apply whatever is left on this spindle and then actually end the entire challenge. I think three months has been enough. I'm 
not very motivated right now to finish the last 10 days of the 100 day spindle spinning challenge really? of the 100 spinning sp <coughs> of the 100 days spindle spinning challenge i believe 90 of 100 is enough and then it's also not really 90 because i skipped a lot of days I am really happy with what I have achieved over these 90 days. We have, if this is finished, 31 skeins. That would make it approximately one skein every three days. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, I hope it's also enough to uh, knit whatever I am planning to knit with it, which is at this point still a secret, of course. There we go, those are the nine skeins of February. Our Ashford's hand carter box is filled to the brim with our mini skeins from this 100 days of spindle spinning challenge. I think that is a great result. Though I must admit that in the December and January vlog I asked you for questions and I might have answered the full amount of four. During the second part of January and mostly during this month of February I actually had a lot of fun being weird in front of the camera without actually answering your questions. So I hope you're content with that as well. This challenge has solidified even more what I had already in mind. Which of my spindles are my favorite? And it's this particular in-hand spindle. And just in general, support spindle. I like that with support spindling, you can just sit in the sofa, have it between your legs while the clasp in hand spindling and the drop spindling is well, much more comfortable, much better when you do it standing up. But I don't like standing up, I like sitting down. So support spindling is, um, especially now in February, what I have been doing the most. It's also just, I mean, in the evenings, you just want to cozy up in the sofa, right? You don't want to stand up for an hour to spindle, spin your yarn. <laughs> okay, that sounds very negative, but that, that was it. That was my feeling over this 100 days. Like, it's winter, it's dark, it's cold. You just want to sit in the sofa and then the support spindling is your friend. That's why I also am going to reiterate my question to you European spinners. Where can I find more sports spindles? This box and I will probably see you again very soon when we start knitting with this absolute amount of chaos. I am excited for this. This is actually the main reason why I am cutting the 100 day spindle spinning challenge short. I just want to start knitting and I think I have enough right now. Those 10 days would give me like one or two skeins more, maybe three if I'm very productive, but I can still spin them if at the end of my project I see, oh, I don't have enough yarn. Then I'll, I'll just spin more and add those days to my 90 or whatever that I have right now. Is that a deal? Can we live with that? Anyway, as said, my yarns and I will see you very soon. And if you like these kind of fiber shenanigans, then maybe you could like, comment or subscribe. But of course, that is all up to you. And as for me, I will see you in a next video. Now, before we do that, maybe you could check out this playlist, which has some more spinning videos. Bye.